And now I'm going to move to um, uh, 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 our other uh, panelist. You hear her name being uh, mentioned, Carol Robert, who is a uh, founder and CEO, uh, the, uh, the, the chairman of uh, BDR uh, Foundation and uh, president and CEO of uh, Pharma African. Uh, she is a businesswoman that is well known here in Canada and in Africa. Uh, she has been spending uh, the, uh, operating in Africa for 15 years. Now, I should mention that uh, Carol used to be uh, the chairman of the board uh, of the directors uh, of the World Trade Center in Montreal. So she understands the business here in Canada. But uh, the, the last 15 years, she has been spending time uh, in Africa where she is touching a sector that uh, is very, very crucial, which is uh, the agriculture sector, uh, working with um, uh, Ecopreneur that uh, helping these small and uh, uh, farmers uh, to move up to uh, commercial farming, uh, to, uh, to help the people with better structure, better agriculture, and uh, produce a product. As you know, a number of products that uh, if we look at in the agriculture side is uh, in, in the medical space. Uh, and uh, Carol has opened that niche um, of uh, the medical space where uh, for the first time there's going to be, a, you know, uh, 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 the medication being produced in Africa. Uh, so she has been a champion. She's a visionary. And um, it is a pleasure to have Carol with us. Carol, tell us how your projects in Africa right now when you hear about AE trade, when you hear about African Continental Free Trade Agreement, you as a Canadian that is working in Africa, who is looking at this sector that is very key that Benoit mentioned, sector of agriculture, how do you see this? Uh, what are the words that you can mention to uh, other Canadian companies? Carol? Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Nola, for such a warm uh, introduction. I'm just honored. I also want to thank uh, AE Trade and the Canadian Council for Af of Africa uh, for putting together this conference. It is a major opportunity to discuss something that is extremely important. Before going into my presentation, I'd like also to thank the Excellencies, the President of Niger, for chairing this conference. Uh, his interest in what we're doing is just extremely important and inspirational. Also, I'd like to thank all the participants, the dignitary, and the participants from Canada and from Africa, because this is all about what we're doing right now. Uh, we're connecting Africa to Canada and reverse. So let me talk about a little bit more. Okay, what is, uh, we're doing right now is we are building an African economy with training African entrepreneurs so they can operate their African enterprises, which is a small and medium-sized enterprises. We are right now doing a shift from the traditional agriculture, which is mainly peasant and artisanal, to a professional agriculture, which respect the international standard from the production and the transformation. And uh, we went over that, and not only we are training them, and assist them into the launch of their eco enterprises. But also we, we, we connect uh, the ecopreneur with, uh, we provide them access to the transformation uh, of their agricultural production, would it be in oil, in essential oil, in different product, semi-finished product that can be exported. Uh, for clients in the regional and the African market and also to the, ex, uh, the world market. But this was not enough. We also put a division called BAS, Botanical Alliance for Sustainable Supply, which used a liaison for the uh, African ecopreneur to, sorry, uh, to uh, access to the market. And we also had to create a division for the African ecopreneur to access to the startup financing. So this shift from the agricultural, uh, arti the uh, artisanal agriculture to the professional agriculture is extremely uh, vital to create local economy. And this is where we had been selected by numerous country as a post COVID priority program, because not only we provide local job, local SME creation, but also those SME, those African SME can produce quality control health uh, products that are needed in, in, in the pandemic, 
but also they are playing a, an important role into the food security and the food supply chain. So uh, this is quite a, a, a different a change from what we were seeing in the past, where the only one that were doing business and making uh, money were the transformation uh, organization or the landowner. So we want to shift those benefit to have uh, for the ecopreneur to access to the benefit. So it is a very different uh, perspective on the value chain and is very profitable to bring alive the formal economy, create thousands of jobs. And of course, all those companies, you can understand how natural the fit is with the AE trade and the, the platform, the Sukuku platform, because all those ecopreneurs are gonna benefit a large deal with access to the, the, the AE trade platform. It's going to bring them the, the, the capability to, to, uh, to connect with the, the continental market and uh, into this uh, time where the internet and the e-commerce is booming. I just cannot say how much I'm uh, impressed and, and excited about what EE Trade is providing, has accessed by this platform to all the ecopreneurs that are now in the process to uh, launch in several country. Uh, right now, we are uh, moving on implementing the BDA program, which has started in DRC into the five uh, region of the African continent. So we have a, a program in development in uh, Western Africa, in Eastern Africa, in uh, North Africa, and in Western Africa. Uh, of course, having started it in DRC, I'd like to thank, uh, address a special thank to the African Bank of Development who have financed our first step a long time ago in DRC. Up to a point that recently, and I'm proud to announce that, that we have been selected by the National Agriculture Ministry and the African Development Bank to be one of the fifth national DRC incubator because we operate as a national because we get implemented nationally. So uh, this, uh, this program is called PEJAB, P-E-J-A-B, which means Programme Entrepreneuriat des Jeunes en Agri-Business. This PEJAB program is expanding in other different countries and is giving a demonstration how strong the uh, commitment for uh, developing uh, agriculture and job and industrialization, local industrialization into the agriculture is a main uh, uh, priority right now in Africa. Also, I'd like to, to uh, talk about the COVID situation um, because uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, we are addressing so much uh, priority. Uh, we are working right now with several presidential entity in order to implement the BDA program into their uh, emergency national priority program. So all of that uh, give a, a, an idea that uh, time has come to make a shift into the agriculture thinking, bring professionalism into the, the production and move from this peasant agriculture to a more formal SME oriented local African SME producing and transforming among the quality international quality standard. So I don't want to go too far, but I think that uh, this essential message is the core message that I want to share. And uh, I, I'm very happy that we have the occasion to network with the high level organization, um, uh, national governments, and uh, multilateral donor and bilateral dollar, dollar donors to implement locally those programs by create which create uh, hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs, SME, and thousands of jobs. So thank you for giving me the chance to address to this uh, audience. I make a point for being short, <laughs> and thank you very much. <laughs>